Hey everyone, LittleMan794 here with the review and a little bit of a better look at the Steelbook case for Star Wars Force Unleashed 2 Collector's Edition. Um, well, so first of all, I'll give you a little better look. There's the Star Killer. This is the Steelbook again. Um, wow, that's bad. But there we go. Darth Maul, oh, Darth <laughs> Vader. Pretty dang epic picture. And on the inside, there's some extra art as well. Darth Vader and Star Killer. Pretty dang good steelbook. There's also the title on the side right there. So, anyways, um, just a brief review on the game. Um, I beat it in about six hours. Uh, IGN gave it a review. They said, um, I'll just give you their review. They said it was 6.5 because it's an unsatisfying storyline. It's only six hours, so it's a quick game. And it's really repetitive gameplay. So their rating was 6.5. For me, I'd say it's not that harsh. The... The gameplay was repetitive, it was the same as in like the first one, well, the new powers and stuff, but uh, but it didn't really get old. I'd say the main reason it didn't get old was because it was so short though. Um, yeah, the six hour part is kind of bad, I, it was a little too short for me. Um, that was on medium difficulty. There's still the other difficulties and trophies and stuff. Um, I like the I like the storyline, although it does seem a little bit unsatisfying. Boba Fett was underused. You didn't even fight him or anything. And the most exciting part, boss, was the um, giant Gorgon or Gordon thing. Um, that was fun. So. Um, my review for Stars Force Unleashed 2 is 7.5 out of 10. And, uh, yeah. So that's my review, and here's the book again. And I'll see you next time. I'll probably do an unboxing video of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. See you guys then.